Hey everybody, it's me Maddie and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. So today I'm doing something a little bit different. I've done two like TBR videos since where I like a random number generator picked my TBR. But today we're doing something a little bit different. So Gavin from How to Train Your Gavin, which I will leave his YouTube channel link down below along with his TBR videos for July and August because that is where he played the game Play Your TBR Right. So I wanted to try it as well because it's not that hard to set up because the, all you need is a deck of cards and some books. I have books and I have a deck of cards. I have two. So that's easy. Um, and I really wanted to try this and it doesn't seem it's going to be that hard because I had more of like a say in what I wanted to read unlike my random number, rater, my random number generator TBR. I really didn't have much of a say in what books I read for that month, which I, that's why I didn't read them, but I had more of a say this time, so yes, I had three rounds because I'm probably going to read five books that month, and my granny and I read two books, I mean about two books a month together, so three rounds, stuff like that. If you haven't watched Gavin's videos, again, they are linked down below, and I would like to say that I'm going to take Jokers out, so Jokers are the highest card, um, in the set, and aces are ones just like they are at Gavin's game. So, um, yeah, if you guys like this video, I hope you like it. I hope it turns out good. Anyway, let's uh, jump into the 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 cards. Yeah, woo. Okay. All right. So I have three different categories, which means I'm gonna have three different books that I will be reading for August along with the books I'm going to be reading with my granny this month. So I got like five or so books. Yay! Uh, we can start off with the first group. So I'm going to be putting the Queen's Poisoner right there. And I'm going to put the Moon Chosen one right there. Because Moon Chosen is the one I would rather read out of those two. And this category is my five-star prediction book. I did it almost two years ago in October. It'll be two years. I did a video where I picked books off my shelves that I thought would be five stars. These are the last two that I need to read for that. So we will see which one I will be reading in August. Hopefully I'll get to it, but we'll have to see. I'm not very good at keeping up with my TBRs. Alright, so my cards are up, and we're going to start off with, well, obviously, the first one. So the first card is an ace, and so that is a one. Gavin plays aces as one, so I'm going to be playing with them as ones as well. And so then I'm going to say the next card is higher, because that's a one, so it's... Alright, so I got a six, which is kind of like sma right smack dab in the middle, but I think I'm going to go with higher. <gasps> okay, okay. All right, so that's a that's a, a jack. So I'm going to go I'm going to go lower now. Oh my god. <gasps> okay, all right. And then I'm going to go higher as my last card. Joker. I don't know what that is. Um We'll say that's higher, because it's a face card, so it's also going to be a high card. Just figure that out. I don't know what Gavin has them as, because I, I think he might have taken them, out of, taken them out of his thing. So We're just going to say that's a higher card. I'm sorry, I'm already messing up. <laughs> but that means that Moon Chosen is the first book I'm reading in August. So the next section is middle grades, and these more specifically are middle grades that are more contemporary focused. I have Weird Little Robots by Carolyn Crimmy and Ivy Aberdeen's Letters to the World. I think I'm going to end up putting Weird Little Robots right over here and this one over here because I would rather read Weird Little Robots than Ivy Aberdeen's. But I guess we'll figure out if I am going to be reading Ivy Ab 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 Aberdeen's. So, the first card is a queen, okay? That's pretty high. There's only two cards. And if it's the same card that I got, I lose, right? So I'm going to go that the next card is lower. <gasps> Dang it! Okay, so I lost that round, which means that 
Ivy Aberdeen's Letters to the World is the next book that I'm reading. And then the final one I am doing is new books that I just got, like at the end of uh, July. They were in my Reading Rush vlogs, but I got Blood of Elves by Andres Sapkowski and The Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter. So, uh... <laughs> I don't really know which one of these I want to read. I think I'd rather read The Rage of Dragons, so that's what I'm going to work towards. But it's such a uh, big book. It's really a big book, so then Blood of Elves will go there. Alrighty, guys, so the first card is a five, which kind of sucks because like, that's kind of also right, right in the middle. But I'm going to say the next card is Higher. Okay, it's an A and not a very good one either. Um, I'm debating if I want to like use like a lifeline and like switch it, which I think I'm going to. I think I'm gonna switch out my eight for a jack. All right, all right. So I'm gonna say that the next one is like I feel like in my gut. In my gut, it says the next card is higher, but I feel like I should say lower. Ah, oh, it's like I'm taking a history test again. I got two answers I gotta pick from. Oh my goodness, I don't know. I think I'm gonna go with my gut and say higher, but this could be such a mistake. No! It was lower. I guess I should have went with what my mind was telling me. So that means I'm reading Blood of Elves by Andrzej Sapkowski. So I filmed this video in a way that I never film. I filmed the actual like getting and choosing the cards, the game portion first, and then I filmed my intro, and then I filmed the outro, but I completely forgot to, to talk about the books that I'm reading. Um, even though I did the game, I still wanted to go over them and say what I'm reading, hopefully, in August. We'll actually see if I'm reading them in August, because I have a tendency to not follow my CBRs. I'm a, I'm a mood reader. Anyway, so, the first book that we ended up picking was Between the Queen's Poisoner by Jeff Wheeler, right? Yeah, by Jeff Wheeler, and then Moon Chosen by PC Cast. Uh, Moon Chosen by PC Cast did end up winning. This was for the section of my five star predictions. This is one that I thought I would give five stars, and I said this two years ago. Now, do I think I, this book would still be five? Do I still think I'd give this book five stars if I'm reading it now? No, I don't think it's a still going to be a five star read, but, uh,. We're going to try it, and we're going to give it a little roll, and uh, hopefully I'll be proved wrong, and this will end up being a five star, but we're going to have to find out. I absolutely love how like holographic this cover is, though, so that's really cool. So yes, this is the first book. This is the biggest book on this TBR, and comes in at 597 pages, so yeah. Then we ended up doing a round of middle grades. We had Weird Little Robots by Carolyn Crimmie, and we also had Ivy Aberdeen's Letters to the World by Ashley and Harry Blake. Now, this was a middle grade that, the middle grade round that went between two books that are both kind of not really my style. They're both more like contemporary, uh, realistic fiction type, except Weird Little Robots had robots. So it had a little bit of magic. But the one that ended up winning was Ivy Aberdeen's Letters to the World by Ashley Herring Blake. I am excited to read this. I wanted I heard about this for the Detectathon, but I don't think Detective Thon is happening anymore, but I still would like to read this. And um yeah, so I don't know much what this is about, but I know it's about a girl who writes these letters maybe. Um, her drawings. She writes drawings of girls holding hands. That's what it is. And it seems cute and I really would like, I hope that I'm going to like this and enjoy it and I hope that it makes me cry. I hope that it's a book that I end up enjoying enough to cry and not one of the books that I hate so much I cry that it sucks and that I hate it and I wish I was reading something else. 
I hope I cry because it's sad and I love it a lot. The final round was between my new books that I just ended up getting on Friday, the, um, Friday of uh, the Reading Rush, day five I think it was. And so for that we had The Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter and that went up against, I always feel like his name should be Winters, but it's just Winter. It's got no S. It's just Evan Winter. Um, but then that one went up against The Blood of Elves by Andrzej Sipkowski, I think, and the one that won was Blood of Elves by Andrzej Sipkowski. Now I am excited to read this. This is, I think, the second biggest book on this TBR. It's almost 400 pages, it's 398. So I think this is the second biggest book on the TBR, but I am excited to read this because I did enjoy The Last Wish, but I don't know what to expect, and I'm a little bit scared and nervous about this. But I do want to make a video on the Witcher books and the Witcher TV show, so I got to sit down and actually read the books to make that video. So I am excited to read this, but yeah. Anyway guys, that is going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe down below because in early September I will be posting a July and August wrap up so you will be able to see if I ended up completing my August TBR. Or you can just follow me on my Goodreads which is linked down below in every single video and then you can find out before the, vid the YouTuber viewers do. So, um, yeah, if you guys like this video and you want me to try more of these type of, like, I tried blanks TBR game, you can tell me in the comment section, um, because I absolutely love watching these videos, and so, yeah.